Hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. Dot hasn't moved much since the last update. Um, it's still consolidating just below this descending trend line here, below this breakout point to the upside. It is at least a possible breakout point. Um, a descending trend line also just in line with that, consolidating just below this 78.6 retracement level, Fibonacci retracement of the decline, which started here on the 11th of January, okay, into the 24th of January lows. Move to the upside looks very choppy. And the 78.6 retrace level is normally a key retracement, key resistance level as well. And if the price plans to go down from here, ideally from here, okay, then this is an ideal spot to do it. Um, we're obviously tracking here on the micro level two structures. One is that white wave count, which definitely allows for another move down. And this definitely is very, very likely until the market can give us a five wave pattern to the upside. Dot is quite weak also compared to some other coins. Um, obviously the yellow count here shows the development, the roadmap, what we need to see for a five wave structure. It shows how five waves would look like. Why is that important? Well, we always need to see a first five wave move to the upside, ideally above initial resistance to suggest that a low has formed and the low might have formed here on the 23rd of January, a low of this correction, which started on the 26th of December. So it's basically a, a one month correction, four weeks down. And yeah, I mean, we won't rule out that the low is in. From an analytical point of view, I just cannot confirm it. That's why we're watching for the five waves to the upside. Only then we can have a first confirmation that indeed a low is in. Because at the moment, this could simply be an ABC structure. So the Elliott waves tell us there is still a high risk for a decline from here. Obviously, the short term trend is up from that 20, what was it, 22nd of January? Yeah, from that, okay, 23rd of January low. The short term trend is up. So you may want to watch for a confirmation and not just assume we're coming down again. The question is, what would that confirmation look like? For me, the first indication that we're coming down would be a break below what I have labeled here as B wave low. That's at around $6.98, $7, yeah, sort of in that region there. Um, better would be, however, or better confirmation is a break below all these swing lows that formed here early in February. And that's around $6.60. So that would be good confirmation that indeed we are breaking down. Um, but because the move up is, well, it is a local uptrend, obviously, it, you know, you might want to wait for confirmation. Um, what, would, what would we need to see for five waves and why is that important? Five waves always give us an indication of the larger trend. So what we normally need to see from an Elliott wave point of view to suggest the trend is up, it's a first five wave move into that direction. Now you might say, okay, but then if I wait for the five waves, it's too late, okay, to get into a trade. Now that's where the reward and risk calculations come in and your own trading plan. You normally don't necessarily wait for confirmation uh, until you make a trade. Well, it depends. You could wait for confirmation of the five waves that tells us that most likely a low has formed here, yeah, a lasting low. Because after these five waves have formed, it's basically just an initial signal, not necessarily a signal to take a trade, but a signal to be able to put a, um, a support level onto the chart. Okay, so if we get five waves up, we normally watch for a three wave pullback that should form a higher low afterwards with very clearly defined support levels, Fibonacci levels, and they could provide a support zone that could be used to find an entry point as a pullback trader. So that's just one way of doing this. You know, there are many ways how the elite waves can be traded. Um, I can only tell you that based on guidelines, the third wave should reach minimally $8.40. Ideally though, $8.60 or even a little bit more, but the minimum is $8.40. Without an $8.40 level reach or without the $8.40 level reached, I won't be able to give you a support area for this fourth wave. 
Okay, and then when we get the fourth in, we can watch for the fifth wave. At the moment, it's just the three wave move up. Looks like it wants to break it, okay? And the break above that 795 level is likely gonna send us to 840 next or even 860. That's also a breakout point because this is the previous swing high, the X wave high. But dot overall shows some weakness right now. Other coins are already much more, let's say, advanced in their increase. Yeah? So that's sort of my view of Polkadot at the moment. That means in summary, to get five waves up, we need to see minimally the $8.40 level reached in three waves and in five waves, $9.05 or higher. Once we get to 840, I can give you a micro support area for wave four. Until all of that happens, it is highly likely that we see another low, but initial indication is needed to basically yeah, make that more likely and basically tell us that this white count is in control and the initial information or indication is a break below $7, better basically here a break below 660. And then the larger support area is down here between 440 and 585. That's my update about DOT. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.